Uh, let's start recording. All right. Let's do an unboxing. So I picked this up at my local dollar store. It's about five bucks, I guess, Prismacolor. So it comes with two uh, pencil, uh, an H, two uh, H, and a two B. Then it comes with a .5 and a brush uh, tip um, uh, Prismacolor um, a nib, I guess, ink. Um, yeah, um, uh, what do you call it? Fine liner. Then it comes with a chisel and a, um, I guess, a, a bullet uh, uh, larger than you get your Prismacolor um, knee eraser, right? And it's said it's for hand illustration. So that's the idea, right? So so you got two graphite pencil, one illustration, three illustration marker, one dual end marker, and a knee eraser, and tip and tuck, tip and trick insert. Oh, I see, okay. So I'm just opening this up. So art supply, right? So that's, so you get the Prismacolor um, I guess this is in English and the other side would be all black, no French. Okay, good. So sometimes in Canada they have both. Um, so yeah, um, for sketching for all the other stuff. So that's, so this is what you get. So you get a um, large marker. This is a bullet tip. And you get a, holy crap, uh, and a chisel. Right. Well, it's a different type of brush. Okay. Let's. So you get then you get a 0.5 uh, fine liner. Uh, yep. And this is a C. Oh, that's a chisel. Uh, yeah. Chisel tip and a brush. Right. Fine liner. So that's not bad for five dollars, right? And you get two pencils. Right, you get a 2H and 2HB. So that's not too bad. And you get a knee eraser. So the knee eraser is, holy oh, crap. All right, let me do this. So let me toss that aside. So you get one of these knee erasers. So let's see how good they are. So I brought my sketch pad. Let's see what kind of damage we can do with this real quick. Right, and uh, an eraser. I usually use, buy the uh, 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 Fiber Castell knee eraser. It's like this now, right? So the reason why I like using this is that you can uh, just roll. It. Oh, it's the other one. It's this. Uh, let's see how good that is. All right. Then let's go with a 2B. Let's do a medium sharpening. Alright, guys. So let's quickly. Look at that. Oh, my pencil. Fine tip. All right, let's test how well this is. So let's get. Oh, look at that. That's not too bad. All right. So you draw your face, your ear. an example. So that's not too bad. Okay. Let's see what we can do with an eraser. Can I do this?
That doesn't seem too bad. If I do this. Does leave uh Nope. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. So normally I use my knee eraser for so that's how I go about doing the same thing. Right? Mostly for the red pencil stuff. Alright, so the chisel in you can get. Oh, it's got a, got a neat texture. But that could be just the uh, Get the uh, bullet. That's not too bad for that one. Let's see. This is a point five. Kind of um, not too bad, but it's like I don't. I feel like I'm I'm on the uh, the, the straight on on the edge, but that's okay. I can do. Um, I can do some uh, nice. edging on that, that's not too bad. This is the brush tip. It's a little stiff, but... That's so too bad. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of. Uh, it's typical of Prismacolor to have these uh, nib pens and you get the chisel pieces. So. so, yeah. That's not too bad though. That is. Let's see if I can write my name. It's okay. But yeah, um, so here we go. Your basic starter kit from Prismacolor. So the Prismacolor Primer beginner set. Tips and tricks for letterings, hand letterings. But you know what? Uh, if you are inking and you need some good quality stuff, actually, let's give it a test. Let's see what happens with, um, real quick, before uh, I sign off. See what happens. So I just put that on there. Let's see what happens if I do markers. So it bleed? No, look at that. It doesn't bleed. Let's see some other some lighter tones. Let's see what would bleed. Actually, that's not too bad. I might have to run out and pick up some more. Let's see. There you go. So you can see some of the darker parts where it streaks a little bit but I think if you were to use this you let it dry so if I take a nib and I do one two three it's still pretty wet okay, it, it streaks so you can see the uh,
a little bit of the streaking and the, the edging there, right? So on a lighter color, um, you'll see it more, but I think on a darker color, you won't, you won't be able to see it. So if I were to, but it's not too bad if you let it dry, right? So I won't be able to see it, but I mean, if it's still wet, that's pretty good though. That's pretty black, right? Let's see if I can get, uh, let's go with the yellow. Yeah, so if anything, if you're going to color this, do the outline first, then apply the black afterwards because the the alcohol marker will um, will cause bleeds and streaks and you don't want to wreck your uh, alcohol marker tip with actual colors and stuff. So I would color it first, then put the black on top because the black is your final piece. Unless you, you know, unless you use um, uh, the alcohol black for, for your line art but I recommend that, but otherwise, there you go. That's not too bad for um, dollar store, Prismacolor, so that is for hand lettering, right? So that's not too bad for a set. I think there's three, yeah, there's three. Actually, there's three. So you do get three, four markers, uh, two pencils, and an erasers, all right? Thanks for watching, have a good one, and do some art.